Good morning. I'd like to talk to you today about Haiti, a country that's in the news and some some of country that's near and dear to my heart. Um, when Columbus first uh, sailed the ocean blue in 1492, the second island he came to <clears throat> was Española, also known as Haiti. Um, he. Haiti has been an integral part of our history since 1492. Whether it was talking about the founding of Chicago, the War of Independence, the um, Louisiana Purchase, the Civil War, Haiti has been a part of all of that. <clears throat> and I've always tried to talk about the positive part about it. But recently in the news, things have been very negative in Haiti with the assassination of the Haitian president, two tropical storms, and the earthquake that, that just devastated Haiti. The death toll is 1,900 with almost 10,000 people have, passed, have died down there. <clears throat> and I've had a lot of people ask me, who could they, how could they help? And with 10,000 NGOs in Haiti, it's hard to know who can, who, who, how, and who, how could they help. And there's two organizations that I know that are doing wonderful work down there that your donations would get to and get to the people that they need to help. The first is Partners in Health that Zami Lansenti that was founded by a Harvard trained doctor, Paul Farmer. And they do, <clears throat> they're the largest non-governmental health organization, partners in health. Um, if you want to read about it, that's their website is pih.org. Haiti. Um, they were founded in the 1980s. Paul Farmer was going to med school at Harvard and in between final exams, he went to Haiti to found Partners in Health. He, there's a book called Mountains Beyond Mountains by Tracy Kidder that goes into the founding of Partners in Health and, and Paul Farmer's um, uh, biography. The other organization is Doctors Without Borders, Medzian Sans Frontier, and they are they have hospitals across um, Haiti also, and they're a wonderful organization also. They and you can be sure that the money that you send to them also will get to providing medical aid in first-rate um, organizations. So the two organizations, to recap, the two organizations that I recommend that you know that the dollars that you give will get to the people that need the aid the most are Partners in Health and or Doctors Without Borders. I know the people will really appreciate it and the aid goes to the people that need it the most. And thanks for your help and um, the people of Haiti really need it. And I hope you have a good day.